Hey guys, it's Carthrone back with a mail day video. I don't remember exactly what I bought, but we have a lot of packages here. Mostly from TCG Player, probably a few from eBay also. I will go ahead and cut into all of these and pull the cards out and then we'll show off we'll show off what I received today and check the conditions. Alright, I finished removing all the cards from the packages, so we will go ahead and take a look at the packing methods that were used. These are shipping shields. I don't use these anymore. I actually think this is a really bad product and the cards are more likely to get damaged than if you use top loaders. Reason being is the sides can kind of clamp down on the edges of your card if there's enough pressure on this and will end up actually creasing the edges. Whereas with a top loader the edges are more flat and if this gets um, a lot of pressure applied on it, it's not going to crease the edges of the card. So I prefer when people ship in top loaders. I will discuss more about the top loaders though. But we will check, especially if you stuff these with a lot of cards, even more likely to have damaged cards then. Also, I had a lot more cards get rejected whenever I ship using shipping shields then with top loaders. I, I get almost no returns now. So let's see, how are these cards looking? Hopefully we can get some gradable copies. I will put these in fresh sleeves. This one looks off-center. Not too bad other than that though. Maybe the corner has a little bit of a, a flare-up. We'll see. I'll go over these more thoroughly at a later date. This one, pretty good. It looks a bit like diagonally centered. Got a white dot there too, not gradable. This is what we go through with these cards. Sometimes you just miss and miss and miss. Sometimes you hit a lot of tins. That is buying blind on TCG player. This one has a bit of a corner problem there. It's not gradable. Unfortunate. Looks like it probably came out of the pack like that. All right, we'll go through this one. They put a big sticker. This kind of makes it annoying to get into. All right, not too bad actually. See, hopefully the cards did not get damaged. I mean, if you only put one to two cards in the shipping shield, they're less likely to get damaged. This one looks really OC. On the back, top to bottom is off too. Actually, is it that OC? A little bit of a whitening, whitening down there also. English is just tough to grade. I have done really well on celebrations in the past, but maybe the good condition cards are drying up more and more. Let's see, how's this one? A little bit of a discoloration there. Don't know what that is. Could be nothing. Again, pretty OC top to bottom and left to right. Not too far off though, maybe still has potential. Because there's no whining or anything really. Let's we'll see, maybe potential candidate. The cards don't have to be perfect to get 10s. Like a lot of cards that I thought would get 9s, I just sent and they got 10s still. Because I'm a tougher grader than... Oh yeah, we're still going to go through all the chip and shield cards first. These are just some random full arts. I like to throw these in as extras on my bulk lots. Oof, that card looks creased. That is definitely not near mint. A 
other two are not too bad though. Is that just on the texture? Yeah, I think that's just the texture. I don't know if I'll complain. This is just like a one dollar card, so it is what it is. But yeah, that's what you get. A lot of people just list all their cards as near mints. The thing is, a lot of cards fresh out of the pack aren't even near mint. People, a lot of sellers don't realize that. Like this one. I don't know if that's because the shipping method used or the card was just creased already. The other cards look okay. Like, come on, people. That is not near mint. You're clowning. It's okay. I'm not trying to grade these. I just wanted some full arts to throw into... Bulk lot orders. Alright, and then we have this person. They like cut a Ultra Pro, Pro 9 slot binder sleeve. Kind of interesting way to ship things. <laughs> Let's see, do these get damaged? They look okay. And yeah, that's fine. Okay, now moving into the top. Actually, we have this one. Looks like they use some sort of cardboard cutout. This is actually really nice. I considered going with something like this for shipping before. I don't know how much these cost, though. I'd only do it if it's better than going with top loaders. Not sure about the weight, also. Is this heavier or lighter than a top loader? Feels like it might be heavier. So we've got a couple birthday Pikachus here. This one does have some missing texture, but that could still hit a tin. I feel like they don't care about missing texture often. How's the back? This one looks pretty good. A little bit of dust you can just wipe off. Probably gradable. And the Pikachu. Yeah, that's looking really nice on the back. Probably gonna send that one in also. All right, moving into the top loaded cards. I don't like when people tape the top. Please don't do that. I don't know why that is the standard because I can't even reuse this. It's gonna have sticky substance all over it. Alright, looking nice on the front. Oof, white dot on the back. Not gradable. Still a near mint card though. So I can't fault them for that. <clears throat> How are we looking here? White dot again. That's play where probably it's not gonna come out of the pack like that. And is this one going to be the same? Yeah, unfortunately. Very often also. This person might have been trying to grade and just dump their extra copies that are meant to also have a lot of that happening. A lot of these cards are probably getting resold multiple times, passing through hands. This person used a top loader and a semi-rigid. It's kind of weird. And then they actually have a pull tab, so this is pretty nice. Don't mind that. And the top loader is still reusable because there's no tape. So good job with that. And this one, a little bit of a white dot in the corner there. And that center is pretty bad too. Have a little bit of a ding in that corner, so. Still probably near mint, but not gradable. And you tape again. Sometimes you can run your nail on it, but sometimes that doesn't work. So you have to pull a knife and do surgery. I just do it like this. Just very carefully run it along the edge, and then we're good to go. 
And yeah, celebrations did have pretty bad centering on a lot of these cards. But other than that, the conditions are generally pretty good. Don't know if that's tenable, but potentially gradable. So I'll put it in the grade pile for now and have a second look later. This person put like bulk to sandwich the card. Don't know how I feel about that, but I guess that's fine. Thanks for the bulk. <laughs> And how is the Rayquaza looking? Again, these are all just blind buys on TCG player. There's a little bit of whitening. But I feel like you can get them at lower prices and easier to just buy quantity 10 of something than like going through eBay and trying to look at every single listing and then just taking so much more time. That's why I like buying in quantity on TCG player. On cards that I know are fairly easy to grade. By English modern standards at least. Like these cards are still in way better condition than anything from Scarlet and Violet. On average. A little bit of a white dot there. I'm not going to send that in. Even though cards with white dots do get 10s from time to time, it's not worth the risk to me. So we hit a 9, we're losing a few dollars. Maybe like $5. Or more. Depending on how the market moves. This one is pretty good. Bit of a, oh, that one was just like a dust on the edge. We could just wipe that off. Pretty clean. Probably put this in our grade pile. Venusaur. Looks like it has discoloration. You see all the green dots on the border? I encountered one Venusaur like this before. Maybe I'll put this in my misprint pile. It's really weird. This one is even more noticeable than the other one I had because it goes all the way to this edge also. Again, tape. Why does everyone tape their top loaders? Please stop. Just buy team bags. Team bags are super cheap. But a bit of a white dot in that corner there. Oh, there's two cards in here. Oh yeah, this one is not even near mint. That is LP. A lot of whitening. Pretty noticeable too, like that's pretty thick whitening. Definitely play wear. Where's my Sharpie? I'll usually just write LP on the sleeve so I know to list this LP later. The other card they sent is pretty clean though. Maybe one little white dot there. Tape again. Everyone with the tape, man. We need to somehow get this to not be the standard anymore. Please spread the word. Do not tape. I can't even like... Oh, the front edge is like higher than the back one. Alright, let's cut it from the back. This makes it really... 
annoying. Man, this is... Uh, try not to damage the card when you're pulling it out. Alright, we'll just pull it without the sleeve. Is that a white dot there? Can we wipe that away? Hmm. Potentially still tenable, because that's a really minor white dot. And the center is pretty good. Maybe still worth trying to get the tin. Painter's tape. Honestly, people think it's a lot easier to get the painter's tape off. It kind of is, but it's still really annoying. Like, I'd rather still just cut it. Painter's tape does not make using tape any better. Please stop. How's the condition, though? I thought I saw, like, in that corner right there, there's something going on. It might just be a texture error, though. Oh yeah, there's not really anything there. I think this one is still pretty clean. Yeah, I think that's gradable. And a little bit of a rough edging there. Not really noticeable damage though. It's only when you hit it from the right angle. This one almost looks like it has a bend. When you look at it from the top, I can't get it to focus, but yeah, it's not going to focus on that. Hmm. Pretty clean overall. I think, no, that's not really a bin. I think it's just warped slightly. Probably gradable. Alright, Blastoise, ew. Oh yeah, this was the one, when I received it, the card was literally like this in the envelope. Because <laughs> there was nothing preventing it from sliding out. So I guess I, I, if you're going to tape it, I mean that's better than just leaving it loose like this, where the card can just shake and then slide out of the sleeve and get damaged like that. So that's unfortunate. Unless you, you can also like fold a piece of paper over the opening, kind of wrap it up. I think this one was like that. How are we looking here? Centering off, white dot, not gradable. Big, big chunk there. Still near mint though. This one has like some weird red sticker. It looks like they probably just reuse this because it's already cut. And looking pretty good overall. Bit of something there, seeing if I can wipe it off. Mm, I do see like a print line across the top. Like horizontally, hard to show on the camera. I just set this one off to the side. We'll reevaluate it later. Some more of the random full arts I bought. Not bad. And this is how I would prefer that people ship their cards. You put it in a team bag to seal it up. Helps prevent water damage and a lot easier to remove the card than if you were to tape it. And it comes out looking super nice.
This is disgusting. There's like two pieces of tape on this one. How are we looking? Just like double sleeved. Oh yeah. Maybe this card will be clean because they put it in a perfect fit. Oh, this is one of the sealable. I would use these to sleeve my decks. The sealable perfect fits. And it's looking really nice. Maybe a little bit OC. You can tell that that person probably pack pulled that though since they double sleeved it. What is going on here? Why do we have an energy in the front? Some more of the random full arts I bought. This bulk lot extras, throw ins, whatever you want to call them. If someone buys multiple lots for me, I usually like to throw in some extras. How's this Rayquaza looking? Oh my god, what the heck? It looks like water damage. Or just a really bad crease. Well. Nice. TCG player near mint. That's just what you get sometimes. And I think that's all the singles. So here's our potential gradable ones. Let's see how many we have. Put some of these in the sleeve. I usually put them in upside down if I'm gonna sell them. Cause whenever I would store cards in my inventory, if they just sit in the box, I don't want dust to go in the top of the sleeve. <clears throat> But if I'm going to send them out to PSA, I, I will put it in the normal way. So we got two Blastoise, three Pikachu, three Venusaur. Not gradables are quite a lot. A couple of these are maybes that I'll relook at. But we can resell these and get most of our money back, so that's fine. And then the, the damaged ones. <laughs> And I did buy a couple of credit cards also. Let's see what this one is. What's this? They sent me a sticker. Usually whenever I get stickers, I would share the love again and send them out with one of my orders. Oh, we got two stickers. That's nice. Thank you for your purchase. Feedback is important. I automatically leave feedback. Book of Fan Store. We got a Paradigm Trigger Dragonite PSA 10. I could have graded this one myself, but it was so cheap that like I can just buy it rather than taking the risk of hitting a nine. And yeah. This one I bought from TCA Gaming. And a lot of these normal Vs are actually kind of tricky to grade, so I just picked it up super cheap. And we'll add that one to the registry. And oh yeah, I also got another. This is my ninth one so far. These are still selling for $115 on TCG Play right now. Can you believe it? They put out another massive wave of them and the price has not gotten down. It's actually gone up a bit. This card's demand is just through the roof. So I might just sell it raw. We'll see. I might grade it. So let's just open this and see if it's gradable. I'll just cut it real quick. I was actually worried when I first saw this because the insert is like creased there. I was like, oh no, is the card going to be creased too? But it actually looks really nice. Like, look at that. 
no white dots or anything. And centering is pretty good. Not perfect, but good enough. I think I will actually try grading this. So I didn't grade any from my first round. So let's see how we go with that. Really nice card. And yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.